Hi everyone, this is David with Instant Encore. And after today's webinar, we had a great question come in about one of the new features that is now available for your mobile app. The question was, how will my app prompt users to enable geofence push notifications? It's a great question. It does require an additional permission based on location. So it will depend on whether or not the person is a current user or a new user. We're going to start by taking a look at new users. So if someone downloads your app and opens it for the first time, they'll be presented with a welcome screen. It looks very similar to the welcome screen that you currently have, but there are two options at the bottom. Stay connected with app notifications and up to the minute news upon arrival to events. Geofence push notifications refers to that second option. Each of these options has a slider bar next to it that you can set to a positive or negative state. When you tap on next, you're presented with a screen that encourages you to enable the features you selected by completing the instructions below, whether or not it is uh, for push notifications or for, lo for location notifications. And then when they tap next, they're going to receive those pop-ups. And the first one is going to be, would you like uh, to receive notifications or push notifications? And they can uh, tap on OK. And then the second one that they receive will be related to the geofence push notifications. It will ask um, if they would allow your app to access their location. And so they'll tap on allow and then they'll be taken to the screen where they can indicate what's relevant to them. They can do that in two ways. They can answer personal information categories that you've supplied for them with uh, drop down menu lists. Or they can opt in to receive uh, particular types of notifications based upon their interests. Once they have answered the personal info categories and indicated their interests, they tap on get started and they go right to the home screen. So that's for new users. When you add this feature to your app and activate it, you're going to have a number of current users who, when they open the app the next time, they'll receive again the welcome screen. You'll notice that the first option below, stay connected with app notifications, is already turned on. This is indicative of the fact that the person who opened the app has already opted in to receive push notifications from you. Now they'll see there's an additional option beneath that for up to the minute news upon arrival to events. And again, they can manipulate the slider to indicate a positive or negative state. If they indicate a positive state, then when they tap on next, they'll be taken to a screen telling them how to enable the location notifications that they would like to receive. When they tap on next, they'll get that pop-up about accessing their location. And when they tap on allow, they'll go directly to the screen where they can indicate their personal information and their interests. So that's how you will prompt your users to enable geofence push notifications. If you have any questions about this or anything else related to the control panel or to your service, please don't hesitate to email support at instantencore.com.